Hi everyone, this is Yama Kim, and today I will show you very basic of the ASA. This is called ASA. It's the ASA, I call it ASA. ASA API, and I will to demonstrate about the object and the access list, the API creation, update, and delete. All right. So one thing different from other system is. Uh, for ASA to use the RESTful API, uh, you must install REST agent. So here, here is about the quick guide of RESTful API, and everything is on this link. And if you have any kind of ASA, the virtual or cloud or physical, you 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 must just follow it. And upon the version of the ASA, uh, you must install the ASA REST API. But this is kind of compatibility guide. But uh, someone said, the ASA expert said, you can install the recent one. Just to install the very latest one. And it will work, he said. So anyway, so this is very basic about the management interface and the key and the blah blah but uh, for asa just to follow the cisco the guide this is api time api the training time not the asa time so but here here is how to unload the restful api agent to asa there are two way you you can use asdm and a kind of a graphical user interface and just here configuration and rest api agent and upload then enable or if you are familiar with the cri for me i'm familiar with the cri uh, you can install with this kind of command just upload it and enable it then you can use it all right uh, one thing very special thing about the cisco asa api is it the asa contains the API documentation just you can access this HTTPS and the IP address slash DOC then you can access the API guide and API guide is pretty nice so here is kind of the menu and here is blah 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 and here is if you click this one you can get the, the Python code beautiful and today i will show you about two things object and access list and get create update and delete very simple it's very easy all right from i will start from the object This is CRI, show run object. Here, for you, for usually, if you are not familiar with the JSON very well, I, I recommend you to just to make object of access list using CRI. Then you can check about the grammar, grammar of JSON using get. Here, here is the rest for API uh, documentation API guide here object and you now let me see I can <laughs> reload sorry then object then get here if I click it something wrong <clears throat> all right let's see object get click it here here is the uh, API object 
the JSON format. It's pretty simple. Here you see, uh, here, uh, name and host, kind of value and ID. So, if you want to make something, you can first use, do it using CLI, then using get command, you can learn the grammar. Alright, then let's you make it. Here, this is a kind of get example. Very simple, import JSON and request. And this server, it's a ASA, IP address, then this is path, the username, password, the header, and because it's get, there is no data. We can run this code, this code. Here, here is result, but this is not human uh, readable. So this one, this is using JSON dump. This is shown like that, and blah 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 blah. And this is get. I will make a new one using post command. Post is simple also. Uh, just you can add data. Data is learn from here, here. So data is the here. So you can run this code. Then it add some host here. Response is two or one. Let's check at ASA. Here. The new narrow object, host object by API is added. It's time to update this one. <clears throat> update is also very simple. Here, just you can update and data here, data is updated like uh, values are here and using put, you can update this one. Let's run this code. All right. Here from 10 dot blah blah, it uh, changes as 22 blah blah. It's time to delete this one. Now we know each name, so here path is here. Then we can delete this one. Very simple. Just request that delete. Let's uh, run this code. All right. Here, the object called host object by API was deleted. Very simple. Uh, let's test it using about the ACL. Here, this ASA has access list. Here, access list number one hundred has two lines of ACL. Uh, object is a single, the object has a single object, but here, here are like a multiple uh, lines are here. So what should I do? Each line has its object ID. So we can edit one by one. If you know the object ID, you can learn this one. All right. Here, here object and ACL get if you click get what's wrong what's wrong I will grow this page mm, I think my computer has some issues CPU is too high oh my god All right, here, here, I will show you about, I will get, I will collect information about ACL using get, this one. Here is ACAs. As you see, here, AC object number is 100. So, 
I will get this one using 100. Very small character, but please see this one. Here, the ACL number 100 has two lines. Two. And one thing is, ID is end with 502. And second thing is, ID is end with 967. Two lines of ACLs are here. So each line has each object ID. So we object ID here. So we have to the input one by one. Close the host. This is uh, the code to input the uh, the ACL two lines. Everything the same, but data is different. We learned about the grammar from here. Here is grammar. So here is grammar. The what I want to input. So I will learn this code. As you see, two lines are inputted. Two lines are added using called ACL1. Uh, right now, I will update using this, the ACLs using put. But before update, here, I will did, it did the request first. And, and then request, and then I extract the pull path of each uh, the lines because each line has each own the object ID we have to know the ID first I will show you here ACL1 if I to get there are the object ID and also there are uh, the self link self link is IP and path and object ID so it's more simple to use this the self link at this code using this one get command and using this one I extract the self link path everything is JSON from JSON we can extract what I want and this is code this is the the ACL change so and then I did put to update I would want this code All right, this is self link, and I update it and response was 204, and I will check here from two dot blah 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 here three three blah 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 change it. It's time to delete the, the ACLs. To delete the ACL is saying first I extract the path pull path, and then I delete it using request dot delete. Simple. Everything is simple. But when I do something, when I run a new machine, it's a little bit hard actually. As you see, here is a two self link. I delete it and response for 204. Here, ACL, the code ACL1 is removed. So, so today uh, I did demonstrate about the ASA, Cisco Firewall ASA, the object and the ACL creation, update, and delete. Uh, actually, about 20 years ago, when I started my career uh, in Nero Field, my first project was support the ASA. Ah, no, PIX, sorry, PIX. Pix is like an old version of the firewall, and right now it's ASA. And at that time, uh, when I was uh, real fresh, <laughs> uh, I spent a lot of time to learn how to use the P 
x pix. And 20 years later, uh, this time uh, I did control it using API. But uh, right now, the, actually, pix was already the EOS, so it's that's uh, uh, sold right now, and also ASA is also EOS. Uh, right now, Cisco Pi Firepower like, supports the ASA OS, but there is a kind of limitation, and I think a few years later it will be like a US, maybe the same, I guess. But anyway, uh, I have a lot of memories with the ASA and PIX and even FWSM, Cisco Firewall. Uh, inserted into Catalyst 6500 machine. <laughs> so I have a lot of memories with Cisco Firewalls. Anyway, this is Emma King. Bye bye.